Hi guys, it is February the 4th. I did my second workout today, so that's great. Um, we did a lot of weights today. We did, um, I think five or six kgs, um, like curling up like this with, oh no, going up like this with each arm. And then we had an eight kg that we left up over our heads and then down to the ground. And we had skipping, we had a f six kg dumbbell that we did squats with. We had another six kg dumbbell that we um, put up in the air and went down with. And we had five, well we could choose which ones, but I did a 5k of bicep curls. We also did um, uh, like put your legs together and kind of swish them back and forth over like a circle, quite a big size circle. So it was kind of like you were doing, um, like it was for your quads. So some people do it with like a, a weight in front of them and they do it with their legs, but this was, we just did it with our legs. There was a weight on the floor and we just put our legs on either side. And we also ran with one of those big ropes that you kind of use with your arms. We actually kind of layered it around us and we went maybe a couple hundred meters with it. Um, yeah, a couple hundred meters back and forth with it. So I think that is the majority of what we did. There was nine spots anyways. There was nine things because there was nine of us and we did the circuit twice and it's something like 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off or 10 seconds off. I don't really know what it is um, exactly, but that is what we did. We got through it. It was great. It was hard to do. Um, it was only really a 16 minute workout, but it took us so long to set it up. Um, and because there were so many of us, it took longer as well. Um, there was at least one person missing. Um, but otherwise everyone was there. So I think we might have 10 or so in our group. So it was really cool. We just do it in the car park in work after work. So next week we start. Uh, next week will still only be two, I think, which would be Tuesday. Oh. Oh, no, next week will be Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. And those are our normal days, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. So we will, yeah see how I progress. I haven't been doing the best with my eating. I'm going to admit that to you in the last week. I don't know if it's because my period was coming and then it was late. Now it's here. It's killing me. Um, but yeah, I did not do so well last weekend. I haven't done as well this week. Um, so I'm supposed to step on the scales tomorrow morning and I pretty much will either be exactly the same as I was two weeks ago, or I'm actually gonna have put on like 200 to 500 grams. So I'm not looking forward to stepping on the scales tomorrow morning, but um, it is what it is. I have kept up with my water this week, which is great. Uh, I think I might have had about three days where I didn't have as much water, but majority of the time I've kept up with my water and I've actually only had two coffees this week. Um, 
no, three. One on Saturday. That was like a proper um, latte from McDonald's. And then I've had one instant and one sachet. So not doing too bad. I'm actually not drinking as much coffee and I'm not actually really missing it. And I haven't actually been that tired. So that's good. Like I've been tired in the evenings after work, but not too bad during the day, which is really good. And I think the water is really helping with that. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy with that part. Um, yeah, just in general, like I feel, I mentally feel a lot better. Um, and so that in itself is kind of what I'm going for. You know, I said to myself that once I got my own house, I was really going to try to make a change. So that is what I am really trying to do is make a change. So I'm proud of myself that I'm sticking with it, even though it is a little bit hard. Um, try not to kick myself too much if I don't do exactly what I wanted or, you know, I'm not doing, you know, I'm having more carbs than I should, than I want to or stuff like that. Like I'm just kind of giving myself a little bit of grace, um, but trying to be good. But we've had quite a few graduations. So we've had parents bring in cakes to say thank you and cake is definitely a little bit of a downfall for me so I've had some of that um although we do have cake in our fridge left over from one of them and I have been good with only having a couple of pieces and we've now had it in our freezer fridge for a week so I need to get rid of that but yeah it's really hard especially when I'm about to be on my period or on the week of my period um but yeah I'm trying um yeah, other than that, things are all right. My niece is going to be enrolled in school and my brother's going to get full custody of her. Or at least that's what we're going for. And we're pretty sure he will get it, um, given the circumstances that she is no longer living with her mom or even by the sounds of it, welcome. Um, so that has been a new development in the last two weeks and mom is finally about to get her house sprayed again for bed bugs and hopefully those will be all gone um yeah we really want that done and over with i'm trying to send money home so she's gonna go to the bank tomorrow and try to sort that out because the bank is giving her the runaround um I think it's because people have been like lots of fraud and stuff has been happening so they need her to come in to like really give her a light of what's happening with her account um they're trying to say that money can't be put into her account which is untrue because my grandpa and my aunt both put into this account so I we know money can be put in this account and I'm pretty sure I got the right bank account from her. So the little money that I put in to kind of see should have gone in. But yeah, we're trying to get the bottom of that so that I can help pay her bills. Because those need to be paid, obviously. Um, so yeah, feeling in a much better place. Um, yeah, it's really great. I'm really grateful for the people that I have at work and they're a really lovely bunch of Christian, um, they're a really lovely bunch of women and quite a few of them are Christian. So that's quite nice. Um, I went to the RSA tonight and it was quite nice because I was with my flatmate and her family and, you know, we all prayed before we ate, which was cool. And, um, I ran into one of the older men in my home group and he actually bought me a drink. So that was quite nice. <laughs> um, yeah, sweet old man. Um, and yeah, so it's just nice. I feel like I'm hanging a little bit more around some Christian influences, some good influences, um, some really good encouragement, 
um, especially with these girls. It's definitely a lot funner, you know, like we dread actually doing the workouts, but when we're actually there and we're cheering each other on and we're um, congratulating each other at the end and giving each other high fives and saying, well done, and, and you know, it's, it's really encouraging. Um, and I'm really thankful that I can do something like this. It reminds me a little bit of what I had in my room with the girls there. Um, and it does really bring you like closer knit. Um, it's nice that it's just in the car park, although I hate people being able to see us, but it'll be interesting to see what happens with Zumba and stuff like that. But yeah, I am glad I'm a part of it and blessed to be a part of it. Um, and yeah, I really, I don't know what's going to happen very much with my size. I mean, I'm trying and that's all I can do. Um, but I guess the main thing is, is that, you know, I really want to be strong in my spiritual and in my, um, just state of mind in general. And I really feel like this is one of those ways that my state of mind, um, is getting a lot better with the drinking of the water and the exercise and just being surrounded by really positive people. Um, so that is just, oh, I got face mask stuff on my shirt. Um, that is just the update for me. So, um, I hope you guys are all doing well. It's a long weekend, which is great because I just feel like I need a little bit more sleep. I was supposed to go to Rainbow's End, which was like a little theme park, but that is not going to happen this week. It's going to happen next week. So yeah, apart from going out for lunch with a friend who's a Christian and a non-Christian, um, I am not really doing much. Um, I'm going to try to do some more of my painting. I'd love to get that painting finished. So it just depends. I'm not sure what the temperature is supposed to be outside. And if it's too windy, it's a little bit hard to do. But um, it is possible that I could maybe set up the lamp that I have there on the table out in the living room. I mean, out in the kitchen. And I might be able to do it there. But we'll just see. And I will let you know once it is finished what it looks like. Um, because I haven't done it. I want to binge watch. I'd love to be able to binge watch. Sweet Mangolia Season 2 has just started. So I want to binge watch that this weekend. If I can, I need to catch up on my Shortland Street. And Tall Girl 2 comes out on Netflix as well. And I really enjoyed Tall Girl 1. So that is pretty much what I have planned because my flatty is going to be away most of the time because our, her best friend has just come over from Australia. Um, she's just getting out of MIQ tonight. So yeah, she'll be probably hanging out with her most of the weekend. So I don't think I'll really see her. I've got lots of laundry to do. Um, cause I want to do my sheets again cause it's been so hot and I feel like I've been sweating quite a bit. Um, and then obviously I've got all my, um, work clothes to do and my workout clothes to do. So yeah, I've got quite a bit of laundry to do and yeah, it's just going to be a chill weekend. So I hope you guys have a really good weekend and I hope you just get to do some things that are for you and do some things that are good for your mind and your spirit and just yeah feed your why we're up because it's so important that your soul gets the food and the nourishment that it needs so stay hydrated and get your rest is all i can say have a good weekend bye guys